Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on my mechanical mastery world. And again, today we're going to try to finish out some of these quests from the tier three section. Um, so in between episodes, I cleaned up this area a little bit. and I added some metallurgic infusers. Um, this is so that I can make the different types of things that we need for the circuits and the other pieces. Uh, usually I need a bunch of these, so I thought I'd get these all set up. So I kind of like moved the uh, press up here and did that. I also had a little bit of maintenance I had to do. Um, the coal that is being used to power everything as a byproduct of the sulfur and the gravel and these things filled up so i put some void upgrades on those and so now everything's is running just great um we have about 13.9 million emc so i have turned off basically by breaking this link here for these uh regular mechanical crystals so eventually this will fill up and this will fill up and then that'll fill up way over there where we get those things and, uh, you know, as everything gets filled up, uh, then it will start to surplus on, like, steel and other things. Steel is, like, the biggest uh, bottleneck right now. All right. So let's look at these quests here. Uh, last time, which was uh, yesterday, we had worked on getting the re reinforced integral components and the resonant integral components. Okay. So what do we have left? We have to do make the AE stuff, which I can do pretty much any time. doesn't matter. It's not, we're not going to use AE. Have to do this automation that's optional here for um, how to kill the effigies and then making a deep slate. And then we've got a whole bunch of mechanism. Okay. So let's just kind of start with this mechanism. How about that? Let's just get it started. So um, as an example, we need an energized smelter. Let me bookmark that. And we're going to need some of these green circuits, which is just osmium and uh, redstone, right? So let's just get some osmium and some redstone. I don't know if we're going to need a whole stack worth, but let's see. So let's. Um, I'm thinking like maybe a half a stack and then a stack of redstone with that. Okay, so that way, because it takes two to make one of those. And I'll put get it started over here in one of these smelters like or infusers, excuse me. So that'll be working for a little bit. Okay. So let, let me let me unbookmark a bunch of this stuff right now. So just get what we need. We're working on the energized smelter, redstone, glass, a machine casing. Uh, that we should be able to make that. We might need to make more of those, but I'm only gonna make one. Oops, too far. Oh, I need uh, steel. Bottleneck is steel. See that? So let's go see if we have any steel over here. I might take it from where it's making the. Uh, there's two of those. There's three. There's four. <laughs> You know, we don't have need to make so many steel uh, gears right now, so I'll just take that. It's mine. <laughs> okay, we got that right there, and then all we need now is, looks like the two of the um, green circuits, which we have a bunch here. So that's going to get us the metallurgic infuser, or energized smelter, excuse me. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to put it over here with all of my other little tools. Boom. Okay, that quest is done. Next one is, looks like making <clears throat> any type of upgrades, and I usually just go for either energy or speed. Depends on what it is, but you can see it's going to use infused alloy, which is iron and redstone. And those things you tend to use a lot of, honestly. So I might make a full stack of that. And this is why I made these multiple uh, infusers over here, because I can just go ahead and do that as well. And there we go, we'll get that going. Okay, that's coming in a minute. And then making... Our mechanism machine tiers, we need to make one of these. And again, we're going to need some green and it looks like some sort of planks or something and some iron, but that's okay. So let's get a couple more of these. And we have almost have two of these already. This is good. Okay. And let's see about making this. There is the basic tier installer. Now, I believe what this does is if you're on um, like... Um, one of these devices, like the smelter here, I believe it gives you, instead of being like this, I think you can get, um, let me see, upgrades. It's good. I don't like how it overlays over your inventory. That's pretty bad. Is it one of these things where you install this, or do you have to run it on it? I'm not sure. I don't remember how to use this. I got to look this up, but I believe there's a way to make these instead of being like one item that does more than one. And maybe that's a different, maybe it's got to be like a crusher or something. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look into that real quick. That's a big deal. We just, we're trying to complete the quest. We probably won't even use it, honestly. <laughs> so let's make a speed upgrade here. And that's it. So let's be bookmark it and go back into our, uh, go slow. What was that we need? 
Obsidian dust. Okay, so we got to get one piece of obsidian dust. Not obsidian. Osmium. Right. <laughs> wow. It's one of those mornings. This is early in the morning. I just woke up, uh, got a quick shower, and then came out here to do some work before, before work. Okay, so the pulverizer doesn't work. So we got to use a crusher, most likely. So let's put it in here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get this piece. This piece will then give us uh, the speed upgrade, which we can apply to something that's, you know, pretty easy. I'm not sure what we want to do with it yet, but uh, we have it done, and the quest will get done, and that's what we're trying to do today. All right. Speed upgrade. Quest complete. Okay. And we got a bunch of these. I might have to look into what we need to do with that. Okay, the next one, if we're going down this line here, is Advanced Mechanism Logistics. It says you can upgrade every mechanism logic logistic pipe allowing for greater throughput so any of the uh pipes we have we can upgrade so let's look at the logistics pipe and there is the basic and there is the advanced and let's just get an advanced and you can see it's just the basic logistical transporters and an infused alloy which we're making a ton of these over here so that should work right so let me just go click on this grab the uh, thing and get make those and quest complete and that's nice and we get some more of those oh we get more of whatever we want i'll just use logistical okay so let's uh, put all that away okay and uh it's dark let me go sleep all right the next thing we have to do here is looks like we have some power generation is this active power generation and passive power generation so let's do an active it's basically a heat generator a bio generator or a gas burning generator i like the heat generator i've always liked that so let's bookmark that and uh, see if we can make that. It looks like we could probably make it pretty quick. Just just need a furnace. I mean, really. I mean, it's like that. And now we have a heat generator. Done. Quest complete. All right. And then uh, the other one is making some sort of of a, either a solar, a solar, or a solar, or wind. I mean, I'm not sure which one would be easier. But I'm going to go with probably this one right here, the wind generator. So we have to make, we have to have the green circuits, that's osmium, we have to have two energy tablets. Okay, so let's do this. Two energy tablets, one, two, oh, there's one, there's two, and then we hit this right here, and we get a wind turbine. So we got some little bit of passive energy. That works really nicely, okay. So we've done everything on this side, so now we're gonna be moving over to this side. Look, there's not much here. There is this other way of killing effigies, which we will just build the stuff and get the quest. Getting deep slate, getting AE. So let's just uh, go into this. Okay, we need to make, it looks like iron spikes. Um, it looks like we need to make a vacuumulator. That one might be a little bit more difficult, but we'll see. And then uh, we have to make a click machine. Cool. Okay, let's go through this. Let's see what we can do. Uh, click machine takes, looks like takes diorite. Is there a way to get diorite? There is a way to get diorite. I need eight diorite maybe. Oh, and I need quartz, huh? Now, um, I've been doing this weird thing with sand and soul sand and stuff, and I was told that soul sand has has uh, EMC, so, and it does. So I just need to do that, right, and wash it. <laughs> I didn't realize that the whole time, people. Thank you for the comments. That's what happens when you do real good comments. It lets me know things, and I can skip steps that I was doing. So <laughs> we're going to get some quartz there. Okay, so we can make some more of the diorite. So let's move on here. Let's go with the iron spikes. It takes iron rods. It takes an iron sheet or whatever. So we're going to have to make rods and that. Okay, so let's get some iron. And um, do we have any of the dyes in here? We may not have the dyes to do this. Um, no, we don't have a dye for the rod. Right. Okay, so it takes two of those and it takes four invar plates we have invar right here okay they were doing this in the press so first of all we just needed four regular iron plates have these converted yet they have okay so that's going to give us iron plates and then we have to get four invar plates so we can make the rod die so that then we can do a iron rod maybe we only need one of those I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Back here. We're going all over the place. Back to the click machine. We need more diorite. Let's see. Boom. Well, why didn't it do that? Uh, quartz. 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 Six, eight. Okay. Click machine. 
there's it's click machine one part of that quest is complete we have our uh invar plate here so we're going to make the die which is the four of those and that okay i'm gonna put that in here and make the die we make i think we needed three of those so that's good and that should get us the spikes there we go that one's complete okay so now we're just left with uh the vacuumulator and it looks like we just need a hopper okay that one is easy and a redstone servo and a redstone servo is iron iron and redstone that's real easy so here comes the vacuumulator and quest complete now this setup here is this if you want to have it some way of killing the uh the mobs automatically and you get oh, you get some essence that's kind of cool um you can get maybe more out of it than what the way i'm doing it with the sawmill but i just don't rather not set that up so i'm not doing that at all okay so that's all done look at this we've already cleared out all of that all that's left is just deep slate how do you get deep slate uh let's see using a crusher we have a crusher is deep slate um or and this was based off of which one? Based off the Blizz. So this makes me think that they want us to do it this way, which is Igneous Extruder. If you have lava and packed ice, okay, lava and packed ice, you can get uh, Deep Slate. Okay. And does Deep Slate have a uh, have a uh, EMC value? It does. So once we get one, all we need is one, right? So... Hmm. Okay, so we definitely have to get packed ice. That was a little bit hard because um, it just takes time to get ice. Ice you got to use. Uh, we remember how we did that? I can't remember. It's it was ice was oh yeah water and this. So get a piece of packed ice. We need nine ice charges. To get ice gets a piece of packed ice. So ice charges. We don't have a lot of that. So let's go look here. We have one ice charge. So we need to get. Well, eight more, right? And the ice charge, if you remember, if we look at this here, let me, let me put it, uh, let's look that up. This is through the effigies, I believe. Yes, it's made from blizz powder, gum powder, and charcoal. So, let's see, can we make any of those? I can make three more. So right now we're out of gunpowder. Gunpowder is not too hard right now. I can do that. So we have to make get blizz and that's from blizz cubes and blizz cubes are from blizz which is the dormant effigies in the resident ender we've got a lot of resident ender so we just got to make those things okay so let's see if we can do that um i just want to get rid of this here we're gonna make more calcite calcite is stone and bone meal um over here in the uh, infuser. I think I got bone meal already in there, so probably need stone. I already was cooking that up. Good. Here we go. All right. So we're getting this material here. Some calcite. That works out really well. And it's nice and fast. I can make it faster. There we go. How about that? Let's get us more bone meal. I like how fast that goes. That's great. It's going to stop here in just a second. There we go. Grab that. Let's put the rest of the bone meal in there because we'll probably use it. Um, I'm not sure how many of these effigies we need, so, um, let's make a few of these. I don't know if these will work. Um, so, put that in there. Get a bunch of them. See, it doesn't want to add in. I know I've got more of those, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> um, these things, these soul stones. I mean, it says they're not there, but I know I've got soul stones in here. Maybe I don't. Okay, we'll probably need some more glowstone then. Glowstone. Put that in here. Soul. Stone. See, it doesn't stack. But there, I made a bunch of that. Put that all into there. And we're going to make more of the dormant effigies. Like this. And I have three. Now I have ten. Good. And I'm just going to make them all into uh, the ones that we need with the resonant ender here. So this is the resonant ender. If I do this, and speed this up, it should be making for us the Blizz effigies. That's good. We have 10 of those. Now we take those up and put it in our sawmill, and it will give us then the byproduct that we want. Um, it should start working right away. Yes. Okay. Speed that up. 
Okay, there we go. And then this is used to make blizz powder. And then we just make that into uh, the ice charges, which we have a total of four. Now we have seven, and then we need uh, 10. There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta get a bucket of water and start to make this into, uh, now this is a process I should automate and we will be automating this later, but we just take this water Take an ice charge and we get a block of ice. Let me go do that. All right, this is the last one. We have nine there. We should have the ability to make a piece of packed ice. And again, these don't have EMC, so that's not good. So now we just have to do, what was it? An igneous extruder. I think we're trying to make the uh, deep slate. Cobbled deep slate here, which takes an igneous extruder. So that's what we need next. And I don't know if I've even made one of those yet. But ig, igneous extruder. Bookmark it. Okay, so what do we got to make? We got to make a piston. Oh, hey, hey, come back here. A redstone servo. Done. A piston. Done. And the other one is a constant gear. Done. Ignis extruder. Done. Okay, so that's easy. So um, let me go put this down here. I got to remember how this works. You got to put the two pieces in here to make something. So we need to get some lava. I have a bucket on me. It needs power too, doesn't it? Uh, I don't see it taking power, so that's okay. Let's grab some some uh, lava. Okay. And let's go into here, and it was this and that, right? Now, how does that work? Okay, so generates various types that requires an adjacent lava source. Okay, so we got to build this as like a little bit of a structure. Got it. Okay. So uh, let's just build this up so that each piece is on it. And let's go to cobble. Okay, I'm going to build this right over here temporarily um, because I don't want things to burn. Okay. So if this is correct, then this goes here. On one side we have lava. On one side we have packed ice. And then this should make us cobbled deep slate. There we go. And that quest is complete. Now this does have EMC. So let's learn that. That's excellent. Um, and that quest is done. So the only thing left to do, guys, is we go back to the quest, is working on the AE route, which is basically making all of these things, and then after that, making uh, these things. So that is uh, something we're going to try to do here in just a second. I'm almost glad I didn't do this. It is for AE2. If you prefer AE2 over RS, which is refined storage, there is a way. Inscribe your presses have a create sequence assembly recipe. Craft a sky stone block with eight polished deep slate obtained from deep slate igneous extruder, which we just did, and one yellow essence. You only need one. Then cycle the block through a create millstone or crusher. It outputs itself as part of the recipe. So we'll use a millstone or a crusher and produce sky stone dust. Finally, wash the Skystone dust to obtain Surtis Quartz, and welcome to AE2. So we're trying to get the Skystone. We need another one of the yellow pieces here. So um, we have to go and get that. What is it? That's every one of the... i got to get a green circuit. I'm all over the place again. Let's grab this and empty this out. i got to get a green circuit. We have to get um, one of the blue essences. So we need to get... Uh, I think I might even have some of those in here. We need one of the blue ones. So essence. Yes. One of those, and we need each of uh, the um, charges. Right now, we only have that, that, and that. We're missing, I think it's the lightning charge. And the lightning charge comes from Blitz, I believe. Yes, so we got to make another one of those uh, the thingy jobs, the effigy. So, or do we have one? We have a Blitz. So, let's go and take that and just run it over here. That should give us the lightning charge, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we have that. We'll go this, and there is Blitz Powder, and we can make the Lightning Charge. Okay, so this is so that we can make the uh, Yellow Essence. So, uh, Charge, we want to do, not Charge, Charge. We want the uh, Lightning Charge. There we go. Put that away. And so we have all of the pieces we need. We also need, I'm going to put this away. We also need a piece of coal to start the process up. Yeah. Okay, so run over here real quick. We have to automate this, and we'll be doing this in the, probably the next episode, start to automate this process here. But we basically need a charge, 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 a blue and a green, and then cook it. And there we go. So it's going to start this up, and then we'll get that yellow essence out of here. Just like that. Okay, that's one piece of the puzzle. We needed some of the uh, 
Deep slate, right? So let's grab some of that. There's a full stack. And can you make it from this just with the cobbled, or does it have to be polished? That's the question I have. Looks like it might need to be polished. Does it say polished? What does it say again? Uh, polished deep slate. Um, can we does this? Does it make polished? Yeah, there we go. So we got that, and first step should be complete right now. Skystone. Okay, so that's good. Now we have to put that into a millstone from Create It Set. So we got to make a millstone, and we haven't done that yet, so let's just figure this out. Uh, we have to make all of that. There it is. And we have this put someplace uh, over here where we can get into a gear, and we have a lot of gears here, so I'm just going to put it, like, right here. <laughs> and I keep getting onto that. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see. Oh, jump on top. There we go. And let's put throw this in here. That's what I said to do. And it should produce skystone and dust, right? And we got both of that skystone and the dust. Excellent. Okay. And then it says, uh, skystone finally wash the skystone dust to obtain soda squirts. Okay, so we got to go wash it. So skystone dust, we'll just throw it out here. There we go. And wait for that to wash. And it should make the soda squirts, which is the first part of AE. So that's pretty good. So basically, we got to just kind of like have this continuously run to make generate the the dust, and that gets us this portion done. Now we have to get a charged one and a an inscriber press. Any of the presses to get a charged one, we have to use that. We might get it from washing. So let me let me do like maybe set up a system here to run the skystone back and forth um, for to get the dust. I'm gonna do. Let's see. Let's do a drawer. Let's make an oak drawer here, okay? And we're going to make, uh, probably use some of my pipes, because I believe you can pipe this stuff in. I, hopefully we can. We're gonna try this out. I don't know if we can or not. So, um, okay, so let me get out rid of this stuff. Here's my pick, there it is, okay. Take this out, take this out, okay? So, uh, we're going to be feeding into this. Uh, I'm trying to think how we're gonna do this, okay, so. Can we put a pipe underneath here and does it attach? It does attach. So this is an output directory. So I just, a directory, it's an output folder. No, 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 no. There. Did it dump stuff? Shouldn't have dumped anything in there. Okay. So it's gonna put stuff into here. It won't pass over to this section because it's this is locked to that thing. So this will output Skystone dust and other things. So if we put this in, can I put this in right here? Nope. Oh, give me that. <laughs> that belt is running that. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, so if I put this right here, and it should output something into here. And it did not yet because I don't have this set. I probably, you know what? I'm thinking I might just remove this and put a drawer on it right here. No, that's not what I wanted, but that, well, that'll work. I mean, I don't care. Um, and it's got sky stone dust in it. Um, that actually won't work. Let me move that up here where I wanted it. Okay, so I wanted this right here. And you can see it's got the sky stone, stone dust. We can lock that here in a second. And any of the other output, we want it to, to automatically go um, up, back up and in. So if I do this, there comes that piece. We can get rid of this section right here. And then, now I'm just talking this out. It should go... Does that work? Now let's go see here. And we'll know if it's working if, um, if this is... Go see, we got one dust here, so it should make two. Now, did it go and do it again? It should go up to three, so it's going up... So basically, now we're infinitely producing Skystone dust, and that's excellent. So now we're just going to get a few more pieces. We're going to just throw that out and wash it, so... There's a six, there's a 25% chance of getting a charge sort of course, which is what we needed for this quest. So there we go and throw that out. We'll wait for that. Um, so then we also need to get a press and the press is basically like the silicon press. How do you get it originally? Crafting presses are found in the center of meteorites. We're not going to do that. A circuit etcher, if you have one already. So it looks like you need to have a machine, an iron block, a piece of silicon, and it will make the press. So we're going to have to make this device here. Wow, this is a lot more complicated than I ever thought it would be. Um, did we get a charged one there? Yes, we did get a charged one. So, okay, what I'm going to do here is going to make this machine. If you look at this machine, let's go back into this again for the press. Any press, we're going to use 
Uh, it would be nice if I had an inscriber, but you see, you have to use that to get it. You can't do anything else. So we're going to use this machine. We're going to have to make two presses, one with a deployer and a, and a uh, whatchamacallit. So basically two depots. So I think that's what we're going to be doing here. Let's see. I'll make these two up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to candlelight some of the uh, big mechanical crafter in there. I take a couple pieces off because I was overstressed, but it's working now. So what we have to do, we're trying to make this uh, quest here. We're trying to do any press. We're doing a silicon press. It says you have to take an iron block, hit it with silicon, and then press it, and you have to do this ten times, okay? So I'm going to... Uh, I've got to remember how to do this. Can I just do it like this to add it? I can't remember if I... Okay, so it's got... Nope, that's went into the wrong spot. Can I get that out of there? Yeah, okay. So we got to figure out how to get this on the deployer. I can't remember. There's that. And then you have to go through 10 times the iron block. So this is the first time through. Okay, you get this piece and you put it over here. You put it over here and you press it. Boom. That's once, right? And then we put it back here. Okay, and then just like that. I could have used some sort of belt system for this, but I'm just kind of too lazy to do it. Um, but anyway, there we go. So just, just basically 10 times. And there we have that press. And just like that, we should have completed this first quest right here. Excellent. We got some more uh, service quartz, of charge service quartz. We get another choice of things. So let's go with the next one, which is the logic press. Okay, so we have two of the presses. That's good. Let me grab that. So the next thing and the last thing for this entire quest line is trying to get the ME starter kit. And this is going to take us a little bit of time. Um, we have to get a controller. We have to get a drive. We have to get it. And then E terminal, we have to get a cell and an inscriber. So, I mean, in the inscribers, that's not too bad. Let's just see if we can do some of this right now and see what we can get of this process. Because I don't want this video to be too long, but it's 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 getting there. <laughs> inscriber, we need pistons here. Let's see, pistons are right there. One, two, and then we need uh, slime. What I can't remember how I got slime. Uh, oh, it's the oil ball, right? Uh, oil. It was right. Oil clump. Any oil clump will work. Um, and we got this, and I got that from EMC. Right. Okay. Good thing I remember that because I would have been like trying to freak out about how to do this stuff, right? So there we got that. Let's go get our pistons here. We're making the inscriber, which takes pistons here. We can do that with a clump. Uh, it's supposed to be the oil clump. We'll work on any recipe to make anything. Interesting. Because it said that the oil clump is it works for any of these things. I think it, that's what it said. Let's go back over here and look. And it said over here, oil clump works as slime balls and recipes and can be turned into crude oil at the Magna Crucible. So it does work as slime balls. So, it, But it's not working for this sticky piston. Um... All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to call the video right here. I'm going to do this the first thing in the next video, and then we're going to start to work on um, making up and doing the automation of the of the various effigies so that we can get uh, this yellow essence automated, and then we'll get into Tier 4. I don't want this video to be too long, so before I really delve into this, it's going to take me a little bit longer than I really like. We're going to stop right here. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have comments, put it down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.